What's up guys, Felix here from Vemify. In this tutorial, I will show you how to apply and modify transitions in Premiere Pro. Don't forget and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos. Let's go. We will start with some built-in transitions in Premiere Pro and at the end I will show you a short preview of our 500 plus seamless transition bundle. So stay tuned until the end and you will receive an extra coupon. I've prepared a sequence of different tropical style shots to show you how you can apply different transitions to your sequence in the timeline. This awesome tropical stock footage here is from Artgrid.io. You will find a link in the description below where you can subscribe and get two months extra for free via this link. So one thing is very important. This is only an example video and make sure to not overuse these transitions in your edits. But if you use them wisely, you can step up your edits in a good way. If you are already familiar with these basic built-in transitions like Cross Dissolve or Film Dissolve in Premiere Pro, you will find an enhanced tutorial on how to create a smooth slide transition in Premiere Pro only. You will find this video on my channel and you will find a direct link in the info box at the top right corner right now. But now let's start with the built-in transitions. So first of all, let's say we want to use a Cross Dissolve between this footage and this cool drone flight. Go with your mouse cursor to the cat, make a right click and select apply default transitions. And here you are, you have this nice cross dissolve. To modify your transition, you have to select the transition in the timeline. Go to the effect controls here on the left side. And here you can change the duration or the alignment to maybe let's say two seconds. Or you can modify the alignment. So now the center is at the cut of these two clips. Another possibility is to set the alignment to start at cut. Or end at cut. With these changes the starting point of the transition is changing. Another option to modify the duration of this cross dissolve transition is to double click on it. And as you can see, you can change it here. Or you can hit a right click and set transition duration. A third option to change the length of a transition is to drag and stretch the transition direct. Note, a click on the timeline between two clips is the fastest way to apply a cross dissolve. Another option is to go to the effects here on the left side and open the video transitions. And these are different built-in transitions. So another way to apply a cross dissolve is to go to the video transitions, open the dissolve folder and let's use the cross dissolve and drag and drop the cross dissolve between two clips. And we have so much more variations so you can also use a film dissolve or dip to black. Dip to black is a classic one. Let's use this one here and you can see the dip to black is a cinematic one. Maybe for this shot we need it a bit longer. So let's bring this to two seconds. Yeah, this is a classic dip to black transition. And let's use a film dissolve on this one. Ah, and here we have this problem. You can see you can't apply the transition between the two clips. I will show you how we can fix this. Let's bring up the clip to video track 2 and as you can see there's no more footage. So the clip is starting right here and Premiere has no more information of this clip. This is the reason why you can't apply a transition between these two clips. So what you have to do is to give them more information of the clip. So you have to edit this clip and give them more information at the beginning or at the end. And now it works, you can use a film dissolve. So this is a way how you can fix this if you can't apply a transition. Another basic fancy built-in transition in Premiere Pro is the iris round transition. I will show you this here.
Okay, let's render it first. Yeah, it's a bit old school. But it's okay. As you can see, with this iris transitions or wipe or slide transitions, this is always the same workflow. So you can select the transition and work around here and modify them. Or you can also give them border. Let's say here we want a black border. You can always go to the effect controls and modify them. Another cool transition I am always using is the push slide transition. Let's drag and drop it here between these two clips. And as you can see, it pushed the clip to the right side. Or you can use here a split or a slide transition. Let's have a look at this one. That's yeah, okay. Let's use the wipe transition here for the last cut. And this is a classic wipe transition. And here a little extra tip. I will show you how you can fix the duration in the timeline for transitions. Therefore, you have to go to Premiere Pro, go to the preferences and select the timeline. And as you can see here at the preferences, you can change the video transition default duration. This is on seconds or frames. I'm always use the seconds. Let's say for this project, as an example, we make it three seconds long. Let's do the right click, apply default transition. You can see the transition is three seconds long. Sometimes this effect is really cool if the transition is that long. As an example for this cut, it is working well with a smooth transition. Remember, these are all built-in transitions from Premiere Pro and these are the basics. And if you don't use them too often, they have all cool functions. The dip to black transition is always a nice effect for some cinematic trailers or for your showreel. So that's it for the built-in transitions in Premiere Pro. And now I want to show you how you can step up all this with our seamless transitions. Let's import the transition bundle. There are two ways to import the transitions. You can double click in your project window and import them this way or go to file and click on import. Open the Vemify transition folder, go to the main project and this is a really cool feature here from this pack. You have already some pre-made project files with different resolutions. So my project is a 4K Ultra HD sequence so we can use this one and as you can see, you can drag and drop this here in the project window or select this one and say import. Okay, at that point, make sure to import the entire project and select these two boxes, create a folder for your imported items and allow imported duplicate media and hit OK. If you install the transitions for the first time, there's popping up a link media screen that says missing media for these clips. But at that point, no panic. You will see this pop up only once. The reason is that Premiere Pro is telling you that it can't find the path. Here, this is my path of Felix Renderat where the transitions was made. So this media needs to relink. Therefore, click on locate and search for the Vemify original transitions folder and hit the search button. Hit OK and all will be done automatically. And the render files can be skipped. And now you have successfully installed your transitions in Premiere Pro. As you can see, you have two different folders. One is to change the resolution at any time and the transition folder, where you will find all the different categories of this seamless transition pack. Here's one important step at the beginning to use our transitions in the best way. This is a really important step, so maybe you have switched the current view to the list view. Therefore, you have to switch the current view to the icon view. This is really important. With the icon view, you have this nice preview for every transition. And before you can use our transitions, there are two important steps. You have to disable the nest here. and you have to deselect the video track 1. 
If you don't follow these steps, you will always see here the preview video on your timeline. And here's the reason why our seamless transitions are so popular. The only thing you have to do is to drag and drop our transitions into the timeline above two clips. And as you can see, there are also switches included. And as you can see, this works really well and you have this nice cool power zoom out. And as the name says, you have over 500 transitions in all these different folders. Let's create a center rotation transition on the next one. Maybe, yeah, from this one, this is really cool. Just drag and drop it here on this cut. You will also find some really nice glitch effects. Or you have this lens zoom here with a spin. And as I promised at the beginning, if you will order our seamless transition at vamify.com, you can save some extra money. The only thing you have to do is to type in Felix15 at the checkout to save 15% extra. You will find a direct link to the product at the description below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with some basic on how to use and how to modify and apply transitions in Premiere Pro and feel free to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel for more helpful tutorials in the future and see you soon, Felix from Vemify.